by a narrator, not Ryuk himself. Pressing Z will reset the camera. You can also adjust it somewhat on the directional arrows. And both are fairly useful. If you hold down Z, it will target lock on the nearest enemy. This is an invaluable feature and, of course, not unique to this game. But they did pretty well at it. It is a little bit difficult to make sure that you lock on the target that you necessarily want to, and there are times where you desperately wish that target lock would also tell you what direction that target is looking at, if you're hiding behind something, but the directional arrows come in handy there. Holding down C activates the Navi Sense. It resets the camera so that it's looking at it resets the camera so that you're looking in the direction of your next objective. It highlights nearby enemies. You get the general idea. There is some environment interaction. The Force of Pandora are quite nicely done. This stays true to the tone of the movie with living in perfect harmony with nature. Basically, if you see something spiky and it's natural, unless you're flying, touching it won't hurt you. Also, to refill your health, you go near these healing plants and they'll sort of retreat and secrete this healing something or other. It can be annoyingly difficult to get the timing right for the stealth kills, for the flicks of the Wiimote, and while some of them do match with the action you see Ryuk do, and that some of them look cool, not all of them do. At its best, this does genuinely make you feel like a Navi warrior. Stealthy, powerful, and a force to be reckoned with. Flying a Banshee is exhilarating. The sense mode has a sort of spiritual atmosphere to it. You can zipline this right out of the Splinter Cell games from the same developer. The message here is as obvious as the message of the movie. I know it isn't the same message. I would say that James Cameron probably very much believes in both messages. And they are also both good messages, ones that we should remember. The graphics are decent enough. Some of the effects are quite nicely done, such as the water. All in all, as long as you keep in mind that it is a licensed video game, it was rushed and it was developed within very specific guidelines. It doesn't really move beyond the movie. It is an enjoyable enough gaming experience. I would say to maybe just go for a rental unless you can find a really good deal. Anyway, that was my spoiler for review of James Cameron's Avatar The Game for the Wii. I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you next time.